Hey guys, this is Adam, Burns Cadillac like Chevrolet. Today we're gonna take a look at a 2019 Chevrolet Trax Premier. And to give you an idea of where the Trax fit in into the Chevy branding, and the SUV is our smallest SUV. So it's just a step size below the Chevrolet Equinox. But on this particular one, like I mentioned, it's a Premier. So you can get a little bit more pizzazz for your buck. And I'm gonna explain it to you what I mean by that. Fog lights, a lot of chrome accents around the front of the grills here. And then they kind of two-tone this bottom part right here, which I actually kind of like. Um, I never really noticed before, but I guess on this white, it really stands out. If I come around here to the side, this one has a larger size 18-inch alloy wheel. Most of the tracks come standard with steel wheel covers. This particular one's got a really nice, sharp-looking 18-inch wheel. I've mentioned it a million times before in videos. This thing has keyless proximity entry. So all I got to do is have this key near me, walk up to it, hit the button, locks. Hit the button again, it unlocks. Super simple. Chrome molding on the door handle as well. I almost always forget to mention that these things do have roof racks. You can get cargo carriers and different things for people that want to take these out for sporting outings. Um, so it's super sharp for people that do need to carry a lot of extra items. Gas caps here, easy to open. I've been asked this a lot. Maybe this should have been Ask Adam how to open up the gas cap. I don't know. Maybe we still do one, but it's simple. Push in, pops open, push it done, and it closes. Now let's take a look at the rear. Here's the back side of the Trax Premier. I'm glad I mentioned this earlier. The two-tone is on the back, so it matches. It rolls up into the uh, color of the bumper with the rear parking sensors. Premier is spelled out. I think I've done a video earlier where Premier was in the black trim. 2019's, they made it match the way the emblem is for the model. Again, just like every other vehicle we have, it is a power hatch, hit it. This particular one kind of raises on its own once it gets to a level. I'm gonna move the floor mats. And you're gonna notice that there's a lot of space in this thing. We've recently done a video on a hatchback cruise. And the hatchback cruise gives you good, good space. This gives you even more. You have a cover right here. You have plenty of space down here. I open up this right here. And we're one of the few companies that still offers a spare tire below. These seats will fold flat. I'm gonna shut this trunk and then I'm gonna show you what the interior looks like. Of course, here's the back seat in a Trax. There is a good bit of space, you can tell. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's smaller than Equinox. I said that before, but there is a lot of space. This particular one has a two-tone brandy interior. You'll notice the brown with the black. I have my own cup holders here for my passengers. And speaking of the passengers, and you'll see back here that it does have a power outlet in the back just for your passengers. And similar to most other Chevrolet models, a leather wrapped steering wheel, cruise controls on my left, the radio controls are on my right. This little thing's different that most people are wondering what it is, I'm sure. And it kind of has a notch to it. You can actually push this button in and it'll change the source on the radio between AM, FM, and XM. So it's really easy and convenient. This one does have the forward collision alert because it is a premier model. Right up front is my driver information center. And since I'm talking about the dash, I usually save it with the radio, but I'm gonna talk about this dash. Cause it was mentioned just briefly that this is kind of neat looking and I never really thought about it, but I guess it is. It's got the two-tone dash that matches the seats. So I think that's pretty sharp, but we'll come back down here and you notice it's got enough cup holders for everybody. I'm not exactly sure why you need four up front in case you're really thirsty. Automatic controls and two USB ports along with a um, auxiliary jack as well. We do have a 12 volt adapter. We've got all my climate controls. We even have a lane departure warning right here, which is displayed right here and in the mirrors. The new Chevrolet touchscreen radio is super sensitive. I kind of did a video on one where it shows it swipes like an iPad. It really does. It's really simple. It has almost everything you can want on it, including navigation, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. It even splits up the radio screens. I think that is just awesome. 
will come up here. It has OnStar. It also has a sunroof. And I'm gonna open it up, let the light adjust, but you'll see that it is a very ample sunroof for the size vehicle it is. I have more of these in stock. I'd love your comments. Find us on social media. Let us know how we can make these videos better.